Chuckers, what are we drawing today? A skateboarder! Yeah, we're gonna draw a skateboarder doing a kickflip. Yeah! All right, checkers, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper in front of you. If we go too fast, you can always- Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video. We are gonna keep this nice and simple, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready to start? Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna start with our paper vertical because we're gonna draw him kind of jumping up in the air and then the skateboard flipping underneath. Okay. All right, so let's start with his hat. So we're gonna draw it up here in the middle of our paper and it's gonna be an upside down U. There we go, good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw the bottom of his hat, and this is the part that's going into his brim, into the bill of his hat. And I drew it curved, going down. Now we can draw the, the uh, bill on the hat. So we're, it's just gonna be another U shape, but it's kinda square in the corners. Good job. He's gonna be looking down, so his hat's covering his eyes. Awesome, good job. Okay, now let's draw the button on top of the hat. So a little circle up at the top. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the front of the hat. So a line that goes up and connects to the button. And then a line on the other side that comes down in front of the hat. Sweet, good job. Now we could draw a line right down the middle also, split the hat in the middle. Cool. Okay, now let's draw his face. So we're gonna just draw. We're gonna draw a U shape that comes down underneath and then connects back up. So it starts over here on the edge of the paper, or edge of the hat. Sorry, and then it curls back up. And if you were to imagine it, that line connects into that hat right there. Okay. Now we can draw his nose in there, and I'm just gonna draw another smaller U shape. And we're gonna leave it just like that. We're done. Okay. Okay. Except let's draw, let's put an ear on there on the side. And if you want, you could draw, you could draw some hair sticking out the back. And if you wanted to draw a girl instead of a, a boy, you could draw longer hair. That's kind of going up into the air. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now let's draw shoulders. And they're gonna be coming down off to the side over here and then off to the side on, on both sides. Sweet. You might run out of room because you're drawing his head a little bit bigger, but that's oh, okay. Yeah. You could just go off the paper. Okay, now let's finish his sleeves. So we're just going to draw another line that comes down on both sides. And then it's going to go back in. Like that. Good. Now his sleeves, your sleeves might be a little short. We can make them just a little bit longer and he could have stripes on his shirt. So let's extend those out just a little bit longer on both sides. So you drew your sleeves about the same size as mine, but my head's a little smaller. There you go. Good job. And then you can connect it at the end. Awesome. Sweet, okay, we're gonna come back and do his arms a little bit later, but let's do his body. So we're gonna draw a line that comes from under his armpit on both sides. It's kind of funny, it looks like just clothes and then a hand on top. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, this, this line over here is gonna curl a little bit under because he's gonna have a longer shirt, and then he's gonna have his legs coming up doing the kick foot. All right, okay, so we're gonna curve up like this and then go back over to the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect those over here. Okay, all right, now this is where his leg, his knee's gonna be up here and it's gonna be bent. So we're gonna draw line that curves, there's his knee and then back down. And that's the front of his leg. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do the other the other leg over here. So let's draw, it's coming out over here and then down. Okay, now let's finish his legs. We got kind of his stick, his stick legs in there. So <laughs> we're gonna draw the front part of his jeans. There's pants coming over here and then also over here on this side. So matching lines. Okay, now because his legs are bent, he's gonna have a wrinkle uh, right on the back side of his knee. 
And then let's draw his pants coming in to finish his leg on this side and also over here to finish his leg on this side. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. It looks good. Okay, let's make him look more like pants. So I'm going to draw a line that goes down the side of his pants. Okay, and then it's going to go through the wrinkle and then it's going to come down the side of his pants over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Wrinkle through the wrinkle. It's going to bend down the side of his leg. Awesome. We could also put pockets on this side. I'm going to put two lines curved right there. Good job. Okay, now we could do we could do some wrinkles on his shirt too. So I'm going to put one here and we'll put a couple on this side. Nice. Okay, now let's do his shoes. So we're going to do the tongue of his shoe. So an upside down U over here and then a smaller one on this side. Okay, and then connect the bottom of his pants. All right, okay, now this shoe is gonna come down and it's pointed at us, so it's gonna be a shape that looks like this because his toes are pointed right at us. And then we can draw the bottom of his shoe. So another line that looks like the first one. Good, okay, and then we can do some shoelaces. Awesome. Good job, okay, now let's do this shoe. And this shoe is gonna be pointing to the right, so let's do the heel first, okay? And then we're gonna do the front of a shoe coming out. And then I'm gonna bend it just a little towards the bottom. That's the toe, and then we're gonna draw the bottom of a shoe. And then we'll do another line for the sole of a shoe. Sweet dude. Okay, now let's do the shoelaces. So I'm going to do three lines. And they're going to be shorter because this is a side view of a shoe. Awesome. We could put some more details on his shoe. So you could actually draw his, his shoes, pants, and shirt with all kinds of details. You added a star on the side of his shoe. That looks yeah. awesome. Okay, now let's come back up here and let's finish his arm. So we're going to draw two lines that come out. And that's for the his bicep or the top part of his arm and then we're going to draw the forearm so I kind of drew him curved out here and then it kind of tapers towards his wrist good okay you're going to go off the paper and that's totally cool so the first thing we're going to draw is his thumb Okay, and then we're going to come back up with a longer finger for his index finger, and then we can draw the four other fingers on there. Two, three, and then four, and then go back into his wrist. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. That looks way awesome. All right, Kate, now let's, draw, let's do the same thing on this side. So two lines that come out of the sleeves. And then we're going to draw his forearm. And you want to try and make his forearm look the same. Ooh, that got really strong. <laughs> and we want this to be the same length over here and the same thickness. Uh -uh. Oh, he's, oh he's, that's all right. He's working out. He's pretty strong. I like it. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to draw his thumb again. So we'll draw his thumb. And then I'm gonna draw his hand a little bit different. We'll draw this first finger, and then I'm gonna overlap the other fingers like this. We'll draw one more that comes in into his wrist. That looks awesome. That is a really good hand, dude. All right, what is he missing, dude? His skateboard. Yeah, he just kind of looks like he's jumping, floating. floating in air. All right, so we're going to draw a skateboard, and we can draw any any way we want. I'm going to draw a, it pretty easy, an easy way to draw a skateboard, okay? Kay. So I'm just going to draw the shape of a skateboard from the, t the bottom side. So here we go. And this way you don't have to draw, you don't have to really draw the shape or the side view of it. I kind of got a little wobbly there. Let me straighten that. So it kind of looks like a pill or vitamin.
Sweet. That's a super thick one. I like it. <laughs> All right, okay, and then we're going to put the wheels on there. So we're going to put rectangles both sides over here on the back and the front. Okay, and then in between the wheels are the trucks. So we're going to put uh, two lines that connect on both sides to both the wheels. And we can also draw the plate right here that the uh, trucks connect to the board from. I think those are called the riser, but I'm not sure. There we go. Then the other th cool thing we could do with the skateboard is we could add a design to it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it just like this and let's pick out our colors and we'll come back. Okay. All right, we have our colors picked out. We're gonna use a bunch of browns, a blue, and a black. And But you guys at home can use any colors you want. In fact, I think it would be cool, cooler if you guys colored your skateboarder the way that you guys want to. But we're gonna fast forward and you guys can pause it at the end if you do wanna try and match what we do. Mm -hmm. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Okay, let's do it right, right now. now. All right, dude, good job, man. He turned out awesome. I love the design you put on his t-shirt and his skateboard. I totally messed up, man. But that's okay. There's no mistakes, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, was trying to, I was trying to design a cool sticker that said skate on it, and I mixed the T and the K. Now it says steak. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even the right kind of steak, man. It should be spelled differently. Anyways, I think it still looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe people, when they look at it, they won't think it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's show our art friends how we're gonna we're gonna do a little extra shading. So let's get our black and on the bottom of his pants, let's just do a light layer right here on the bottom of his leg and also this leg. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool thing with uh, with doing art is you can layer the colors on top of each other, not just leave it solid. Okay, yeah. his pants look more three D now, and we could also take. Our, our black and we can do a little shading also on his shirt so I'm gonna do a little shading and I'm using the side of my pencil so that it's really light and then I'm gonna go down the side of his shirt also like this and then I'm also gonna do I'm gonna slide this over so I can turn my paper I'm gonna do the underside of this sleeve there we go that looks awesome. Yeah. And then I'm going to come down this side of his shirt also. And you can do a little shadow in the wrinkles that we that we drew on there. Now this makes it look like the light is coming down from the top, like he was outside and the sun's shining on him. And then I'm going to also get... That looks good, dude. Looks really good. I'm going to get the brown, and I'm just going to do a light layer also on the underside of his arm. So his arm looks... 3D and also his fingers. There we go. Now I'm going to do this side too. Okay, one last shadow I forgot. Let's do a shadow underneath his underneath his head. So it looks like there's a shadow being cast from his head. There we go. Well, that looks awesome. And if you make it look, you can make that shadow look really long too if you want. Okay, and then we can also do the side of his shoes. I left the shoes white, and so we can do a, a gray shadow on them. There we go. Dude, that looks so cool, man. Did you have fun? Yeah! You promise? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do one more thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna shade underneath his hat. So there's also a shadow from his bill. And then we could also, we can get the, the, uh, the, the original color that we first use and go back over it. And then that'll smooth out the, the shading on his skin.
All right, now friends, you guys at home, you guys can pause the video if you wanna try and match what we did, but you should really try to draw him or color him and design him your own way. All right, dude, did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Give me another five. Well, we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your skateboarder with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends.